In this video, we present the solution to question number five for practice exam number two for math 1210, in which case we're asked to find the value of C that makes the function, the piecewise function f of x continuous, where f is given as the first part is two minus x quantity squared, where x is less than or equal to four, and then the second part is the square root of c minus 2x when x is greater than 4. Because our function's piecewise and the pieces themselves are continuous pieces, the first piece is just a polynomial function, which is continuous. Uh, the second piece is just a radical function, which is continuous. Our function's going to be a piecewise continuous function. That is, it's built with continuous pieces. So the only place where we might have a discontinuity, which will necessarily be a jump discontinuity, will be at the switching number of x equals four. So we need to make sure the left side of x equals four agrees with the right side of x equals four. So what happens when we're a little bit to the left of x equals four? We're gonna get that the limit as x approaches four from the left of f of x here, this is just gonna look like our function two minus x quantity squared as x approaches four from the left. In which case, because it's continuous, we can plug in x equals four to get two minus four squared. We end up with two, well, negative two squared, and we end up with a positive four. So the left side, the left limit is gonna be positive four. We need to make sure that the right limit is also four. As x approaches four from the right of f of x, well, this time we're gonna get that as we approach four from the right, it's gonna look like the square root function, like so. We get the square root of c minus two x, for which again, because this branch is continuous, we plug in four to get the evaluation. We get the square root of c minus two times four. So we get the square root of c times, or c minus eight. So in order to be continuous, these two pieces, the left limit and the right limit have to agree with each other. So we have to solve the equation, the square root of c minus eight is equal to four. To do that, we're gonna square both sides. We get c minus eight is equal to 16. Then we're gonna add eight to both sides and we get c equals 24. And so c equals 24 is the only parameter that will make this piecewise function continuous. So the answer turns out to be d.